Welcome to another edition of The Trailblazers, where Shivy and I showcase millennial founders running technology ventures that have a social impact. This time round, we'll be talking to a self-made woman who's a bit of a serial entrepreneur. Her drive and proactive nature spurred her on to run her current venture, Century Tech. Now these guys use learning analytics or data mining to create a very personalized experience to students through user-friendly dashboards. Each click from the user is captured by the system, which then gives us a digital footprint of the learner's personalized journey. Now the founder is Priya Lakani. Her aim is to provide high quality educational content covering subjects from early years right up to the professional development of a person. This is EduTech at its best. This is a way for educators and parents to map the students' learning habits and behaviours and crucially, to understand when the person is struggling or they need a new challenge. Now Priya says she wants to do away with the problems caused by the one-size-fits-all lecture style of teaching. I'm all for that. Let's go talk to her and find out more. Priya, thank you for being on The Trailblazers. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to talk to you about Century. So Priya, let's kick off by giving people a really clear idea, right, of what Century Tech does, what this platform and dashboard is, and why people should care. So essentially at Century, what we're trying to do is learn how the individual brain learns, how you absorb material. We learn how you learn and provide learners with an individualized, personalized, adaptive learning journey. And then we take all of the data on the site and provide analytics to educators and teachers. And the purpose is to improve learning outcomes and improve teaching outcomes. So it's tracking almost the learning behaviors and habits of students, isn't it? This could be quite invaluable for those who are deemed slow learners, but actually are just having trouble coping with a certain syllabus. So you're absolutely right, we're a big data analytics company. Um, we want to pinpoint when students are struggling, but we also want to find out when students need further challenge and then offer that to them. Oh good, okay, so it's both proactive in terms of urging you on yeah. when you are doing well, and for someone who might be struggling as well, so that covers that covers both aspects of it. Absolutely, yeah. And so we're looking at it from the learner point of view, but also from the teacher point of view. So teachers spend an awful lot of time on paperwork, tracking data, tracking who's struggling. And it's an impossible job, right? Is there any other sector, any other job in the world where you have one person managing 30 individuals with erratic behaviours and then you give them their KPIs and their targets and say you need to achieve these metrics in a year. If you don't, you fail these people. And by the way, I'm going to give you six sets of these 30 individuals and possibly an assistant with no technology to help you. No one else in the world is given that job apart from a teacher. So Century's purpose is to help teachers and arm them with data. I can imagine being a teacher must call for a lot of patience and a lot of time actually. Yeah. So Priya, what prompted you to launch the tool now? So I actually had the idea while well, I had a year off a couple of years ago, I was walking my two year old home from school and I thought, you know, when do I have that interaction with the teacher as she grows up? It's going to be really uncool for me to walk her home when she's 16. And so I was thinking about communication and how does a parent really know how their child's performing in school? Do we then want more communication between teachers and parents? Well, yes, but we don't want to also increase the workload of teachers. So I went into a couple of schools, asked lots of questions and figured out their biggest pain points. At the same time, I happened to be writing a book for preschool children. Um, and so I was learning about how children learn. Putting that all together, I realized there has to be a solution for schools and that's a blend of big data, cognitive neuroscience, and general learning analytics. So do you see education tech as a sector booming as much as some of the ones that get a little more press for being sexier, such as FinTech? I can tell you right now, education technology is where it's all at right now. Um, so quarter two investment in 2015 surpassed the entire year of investment in 2014. Globally, in the UK? In EdTech, in globally. Oh. Um, so there's lots of investment pouring into EdTech. This is an area that we should care about, right? This is, a, this is an area where it affects children, it affects the next generation. I mean, with Century, it actually affects people now because we obviously provide a platform that's great for corporate you know, training and corporate development as well. Um, it's an incredibly important sector. So these are sort of frontline things. You think about education, you think about health tech, healthcare, they're all on the same level. So really, I, I can't understand why um, you know, EdTech is, is not mentioned as much, I don't read about it as much, but I think that we're really on the verge of change and I'm hoping that Century is very much a part to do, you know, has a part to do with that. So Priya, let's take your business hat off for a minute, right? Because we love to unravel what makes people tick on the trailblazers. And I want to get a really good sense of what you do to just let loose and unwind. Well, say so I love boxing. 
I love martial arts, maybe once or twice a week. Um, I love tennis, so I try and play tennis once a week. And I also love going to the driving range by myself with 200 so golf balls. you like hitting it's things? It's really, yeah, some, so somebody said to me, say you like hitting things, and I just suddenly became very nervous and thought, what do I do where I'm not hitting things? <laughs> it was really strange. Um, but it's a really, really great way to sort of release that, you know, energy, the stress, and just, I feel so calm. Um, I, you're going to hear this from a lot of entrepreneurs. It's something that I've definitely noticed is that it's really difficult to stop your brain from thinking. I'm also a clinical insomniac, um, I'll tell you that now. So um, I, I'm awake a lot of the time um, in the middle of the night, so I tend to work. And um, you know, you've got to find something that allows you to stop. Uh, and for me, it's, it tends to be sports that involve a bit of impact. So long as there's no kickboxing at three in the morning, I think you'll be fine. No, not at three <laughs> in the morning, but I do have yeah. one of those you know, those bodies that you... <laughs> this is going to sound ridiculous. <laughs> you feel, no, keep going. That you fill with sand. And you, right. you know... Oh, and, like, and like, you, a, like a dummy figure yeah, that's he, sand filled. He's yeah. called Bob. <laughs> oh, my God. Poor Bob. And my children, so they don't like him very much. Um, but, you know, yeah, I can... You so know, if you had a pretty stressful week, Bob gets an absolute walloping. Yeah, Bob doesn't like it. Too okay, <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, so I don't want to be on the other side of you at a tennis court when you've had a bad day. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. I'm a really friendly player. <laughs> Let me just say that. I'll bet. No, I, I do believe that. So, Priya, let's uh, shift tracks a little bit and get your very, very personal view on what it's going to take to rally more younger girls, let's say at the age of 16, yeah. to consider STEM careers. I'm really passionate about doing something myself. So my view is, if I don't do anything, why shouldn't anyone else? So what I would like to do is encourage um, girls to study STEM subjects on my platform. I have the distribution. Um, we have, you know, we, we started off with five schools. We've already got 45 for the beta program. So I would like to put on um, various bits of content on there to encourage people. But really what we need is role models. There are plenty of women in STEM. I'm going to tell you that right now. Lots of amazing role models. And what we need to do is shout about them. So we need to have them on a stage, have them on a platform, and see young girls, you know, watch these videos, be in front of these women on stage, and then get their feedback. Um, and really, I think really that's a really small step. It doesn't take too much to organize, and that's the sort of thing that it will take to show girls that this is what you can do and this is what you can achieve. This is not just a boy's job. Absolutely. Priya, it's so obvious that that sort of social good element and giving back to community ethos is just oozing out of you, right? Both in your personal life as well as your industry work. Yeah. And I'm really excited to see where Century Tech goes. I'll be keeping an eye on it. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. Well, I mean, one of the, in terms of our mission statement, it is that we will improve the lives of many. We don't build stuff at Century that doesn't matter. And that's really, really important to me. It's what gets me out of bed in the morning. I think it's what gets my entire team out of bed in the morning. They work late, they work hard, and it's because we want to build stuff that matters and changes lives. Well, that's why you're on the Trailblazers. It's a perfect fit. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Right, so this is 10 rapid fire questions with Priya and she has no idea what to expect. <laughs> ready? Right. Okay, okay ready? Surf trip or mountain hike? Surf trip. Cake or pizza? Cake. <laughs> <laughs> Weekend getaway or week long trip? Weekend getaway. Hip hop or jazz? Oh, hip hop. James Bond or Indiana Jones? Oh, James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> Wine or beer? Wine. Cooking or napping? Cooking. Ferris wheel or roller coaster? Ferris wheel. <laughs> Neon green or bright yellow? Oh, neither. <laughs> avocado or tiger? Avocado. <laughs> That's the one that makes no I sense. I love avocados. Right at the end. Right. Always throw one in. No, that I love avocados. I have avocados every single day, so that was really easy for me. Okay, yeah. done. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Priya is clearly trying to take an area like education tech and put it firmly on the map. We feel very confident that she's on an upward trajectory. Exactly. What she's doing with Century Tech could have tremendous social impact on the learning experiences of students. We're keeping an eye on this one and you should too. Thanks for watching. Now, shut up, you're, you're making me mess up, all of you. F*** it up.
One more time. This has been Across the Pond. All right. Thanks for All right. watching. All right. Can't you read? Yes. Rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. Danny, ready? Oui. Wait. I'm there. Okay. Yes.